Hey everyone, Admiral Seabass here, Italian turn four. Thanks everyone for your strategy comments and my uh, request for strategy input. I think you'll see that I took a lot of those comments into account with my strategy here. So my buys are uh, three infantry for Rome and that minor factory. Uh, and then in the northern Italy factory, four guys, a tank, and a destroyer. And that destroyer will help ensure that any American assault on Italy will only be able to use the ships to attack that destroyer and not for an amphibious assault. So I've already made my combat moves, and uh, they're over here. Um, there was a, uh, so I had to recut this video because I realized I wasn't recording. There was a English transport here. One of my followers had suggested coming down and taking that out, so I did that. Uh, did the amphibious assault here from Egypt into Transjordan, leaving one guy behind as a blocker. And then uh, going to try to take out that guy in Morocco, because if I take him out and I control this territory, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one, I get a bonus, $5. So that'll be nice. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and roll that one. That's a two versus a two. So I'll go ahead and go over here. We will roll that one. Here's the Italian artillery. Miss. French infantry. Oh, miss. Italian artillery hits. Can the French do it? No. Oh my gosh. Hey, Italy got something. So he is taken out. And take off this target marker. Italy artillery marches in there. Let me get a piece of pie here. And let's see. I thought I bought more Italian pies. Maybe I didn't. I thought I did. Where are they? Uh, hang on. I knew I bought more of those things. Uh, I just hadn't put them in my uh, Italy box yet. So Morocco is Italy's. So that's up one and down one for the French. And then um, this one here I'm going to set up on the battle board. So I'll be back. Okay, I got a mech, two artillery and two tanks for the Italians against two artillery and a mech for the British. And uh, there's the mech, two artillery two tanks, and then here's my cruiser and my battleship. So we're looking for three hits. Got them. Exactly what we needed. I, I, I toyed around with maybe bringing the cruiser in or the battleship up to defend Italy, but I thought, you know what, they're just going to get sunk. I'll keep them for next turn. Uh, maybe, you know, bring them back in to C-Zone 97. Uh, on the other side, I, you know, who knows? So, um, okay, so British shoot back three at two or less. One hit. I will take that. And I think I will lose... Uh, I'll lose the artillery. Okay. So, remove the target marker. Italian pie. Italy up to 20, UK Europe down to 29, and uh, put these guys back down here. Good idea whoever suggested that because now this little force here, um, if that force comes up and takes back Cairo, this force can go take Cairo back. Um, and really, these two guys aren't really going to threaten those two. Um, so uh, I really like that move. Thanks for whoever suggested that in my comments. Um, now my non-combats are going to be pretty simple for Italy. Um, he's going to fly back to Greece. And... I don't think I'm going to move anything up here because of the way I bought stuff. Um, no, actually, you know what? I'm going to move this guy down here. So let me chip him out. Um, actually.
actually, let me chip that out for a green. Right there. Sorry about that. And then place units. Let me grab my units here. So this destroyer will obviously go here, built by the Northern Italy factory. These three guys will get chipped out for a green. And I'll go there. And then these four guys will go here. And the tank will go right there as well. So let's look at this situation now. Um, you know, the U.S. can probably try for one of one of the two um, but Italy will be able to take it back is what I think will happen so Americans will have to make an interesting decision here do they commit all this stuff knowing that the Germans can come down behind them probably take Gibraltar and box them into the med um, and so and they don't have any anything backing up or guarding those transports. So interesting to see what what uh, the U.S. and Germany, frankly, do next turn. So let's look at our bonuses. Italy's going to collect a base of twenty dollars, and then for the bonuses, they are going to get five IPCs if they control three of the following Gibraltar, Southern France, Greece, or Egypt they control one, two, three that's another five, so that's 23 another five if there's no allied surface warships in the med so that's 28 five if they control those territories, which they do that's 33 and then two each for these, which they don't plus they get wartime economy which is another D6 so 33 plus huh one is 34. That's not too bad for Italy. Uh, there's tw 20, 30, 4. That's one more buck than they had last turn. So, you know, if you're U.S., um, it probably forces you to go for Rome so that they don't get to spend that money next turn. Then you got to think, can you keep it? Um, but maybe it's worth it, you know. Um, might get a ping pong match going here for the next couple of turns between Italy, U.S., and Germany. Because um, if U.S., they go from here to here and take that, Germany can come down and take Gibraltar behind them. Well, let, let me back up. U.S. goes in, takes this, Right? And maybe they bring all these guys over to here to reinforce. And they build a, a new force here to come over. Maybe Germany comes down, takes that out, and then it ping-pongs again. So you never know what might happen. It will also depend for the U.S. on what's happening over here. Um, this, may, this may require Japan to play a little more aggressive on the Pacific board. So, All right, that's Italy turn four. Thanks again, everybody, for your comments. And... Um, Next up will be Anzac. Take care, everyone. Admiral Seabass signing off.